Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XLM. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XLM. I'm going to start with this. Whereas other blockchains are built for the maxi, Stellar is built for an interoperable future. Now, if you don't know what a Bitcoin maxi is yet, what they are is a group of people that only believe in Bitcoin. They don't see any other crypto as having any use case or value. The problem is, is that Bitcoin maxis usually get new investors wrecked because they come into crypto and all of a sudden they hear stories of this imaginary island in the future where only Bitcoin is going to be accepted for currency. It's absolutely false. Bitcoin maxis also like to make up use cases and utility for Bitcoin. But Bitcoin has no utility. Most likely it will not be part of the new financial system when it rolls out. Ethereum's a little bit different because it's a much better network than Bitcoin. And it has, actually has utility and use case. The problem is there's so many better options today such as XLM. Ethereum is high priced. You pay a lot of fees. And the con network is congested most of the time. XLM, on the other hand, is fast, it's reliable, the network moves at the speed of light, and it's here for the long term. It'll be part of the new financial system. It'll be part of the fourth industrial revolution. So Stellar is different from Bitcoin and Ethereum. Built between Bitcoin and Ethereum, though, Bitcoin was built in 2009, Stellar was built in 2014, and Ethereum in 2015. Stellar was designed with a unique goal in mind to facilitate low-cost transfers of all forms of value anywhere in the world. The network possesses built-in features that permit creating, sending, receiving, and trading digital representations of any type of asset. This is how Stellar helps large international companies, small startups, and individual developers access new markets and helps those marginalized by the traditional financial system find financial inclusion. The guiding principle is called interoperability. Stellar is built to interoperate with traditional financial institutions, different types of assets, and web and layer two blockchain applications. In other words, Stellar is a system built for moving value between all other systems. And we see that actually being utilized today through MoneyGram and banking the unbanked around the world. But Stellar goes beyond that. It's going to be tied to CBDCs as well. We see here banking innovation through technology. By running BIT's DCMS on Stellar, BIT is able to offer a complete solution for monetary authorities to issue CBDCs. And that's already coming to light as we see here. Stellar joins hands with Mercado Brazil to develop CBDC for Central Bank of Brazil. We also know it's tied to the Ukrainian Central Bank as well. One of the largest crypto exchanges in Latin America, Mercado Bitcoin and the Stellar Development Foundation have joined hands to explore use cases and develop a minimum viable product for a central bank digital currency by the Central Bank of Brazil. The announcement of the partnership was made with regards to one of the nine projects under the Lyft Challenge, Real Digital. The challenge is being promoted by the Central Bank of Brazil. And so far, this is what they have done. A tokenized version of the digital reel, the Brazilian CBDC, passed the public blockchain pilot test successfully. The test was carried out by Mercado Bitcoin, a local exchange using the Stellar network. And it shows that the digital reel token can be used in public blockchains. The test included all of the steps that regular user would have to conduct for the use of a tokenized on-chain version of the digital reel and included traceability, know your customer, and anti-fraud procedures derived from a digital decentralized identity system. I believe Stellar is also going to be actively involved with digital wallets in the future. Everyone's going to have to have one. And if you have a digital wallet, you'll also have to have a digital ID where Stellar can be utilized again. FlexID and Uhuru Wallet partner to provide secure and affordable remittance services. Now this brings two cryptos together, Algorand and XLM. Two Zimbabwean blockchain startups, FlexID and Uhuru Wallet have launched a joint platform that offers digital identity and remittance services 
to Zimbabwean immigrants living and working in South Africa. This marks the first cross-chain collaboration between the two companies, with FlexID utilizing the Algorand blockchain and Uhuru Wallet built on the Stellar blockchain. The new partnership aims to provide a streamlined and secure remittance experience for Zimbabwean immigrants while overcoming challenges such as high sending fees, limited access to former financial services, and identity verification issues. So you could see how these cryptos come together, whether it's through partnerships of theirs. Sometimes it's directly from one crypto to another that's the new financial system getting built from the bottom up we're so early in the crypto we get to see it happen almost on a daily basis you see more and more partnerships happening around payments all the time from asset securitization to asset tokenization pi network the stellar foundation behind it and a wide range of partners are developing a range of tools that tokenize assets such as real estate stocks securities fiat money and more now everything's going to be tokenized in the future they're already talking about tokenizing trees carbon credits the water they want to tokenize as well but as time goes on every single thing will have a value put on it it'll become tokenized and it'll go digital i believe stellar will play a big part in that as well learn how to create your token on the stellar network with our easy to follow guide explore the benefits of using stellar and start building your digital assets today now they make this very simple you set up your stellar account then you fund your account create your token issue your token and then market your token when something is that easy people will use it. That's what it comes down to. So I could see a lot more assets coming to the Stellar network. SWIFT ISO 222 payment systems upgrade implications for banks, crypto assets, and digital currencies. And you see here at present, seven cryptocurrencies are compliant with ISO. They are Quant, Ripple, Stellar, Hedera, IOTA, XDC, Algorand, and Cardano. And in the future, these are going to be the first movers, in my opinion. Later, I believe Casper and DAG, A0, a few others will be added as well. Because, But these are the first seven. These are the ones you really got to look into. Because I feel that these are going to be, like when Ripple wins the lawsuit against the SEC, it's going to set off a chain reaction throughout crypto. All of a sudden, all these cryptos are going to start popping off. But certain ones are really going to move. And I believe these are going to be the first movers. Later, the rest will move as well. Moreover, P2P. Okay, you can say. But P2G could be the latest disruption. Now, this goes back to 2016. But this is worth a mention. Because everybody talks about XLM. And they say it's just going to be person-to-person -person payments. It's going to go far beyond that. Like I always told you, you're going to be paying for medical bills. You're going to be paying utility bills. That's all going to be run on the XLM network. XRP is built for bank-to-bank -bank payments, big high-value payments. But think about the payments that are going to add up utilizing XLM. So death and taxes are unavoidable. While technology can prevent death or eliminate taxes, it is enabling simpler, quicker interactions with government services consider that every individual makes or receives payments from governments develops in this area have widespread impact lumped into the category of p to g person to government it doesn't have the cachet of some other fintech areas such as p to p however it is a huge opportunity valued at eight trillion dollars if you're into real fintech business without the hype and all the me too startups P to G is definitely something to investigate. That's going to be huge. And again, that'll utilize XLM in the future. There's going to be so many payments that people are overlooking. Think about it. You got to get a permit to do work on your house. You're going to be making that payment through XLM in the future to municipal. And then it's going to go beyond that. You're going to be making car insurance payments. You're going to be making mortgage payments. That's all going to utilize XLM. I believe XRP and XLM are going to have high values, but XLM can get up there as high as XRP in the future. So how, do, how high do you think the XLM 
all-time price will reach. And every time you ever take a look at this, they always undervalue it. So I'm going to try to come up with a price that is conservative on one hand and shows you where it could go in the future on the other hand. So conservatively, in the next run, if XRP was to get to $13, 10 to $13 like people are predicting, I feel XLM could get to at least $7. Now, longer term, people are saying easily XRP is going to hit 589. That's always been the key number for the XRP community. Well, if that was to happen, I still believe XLM can get to three to $400 then. And who knows where it goes beyond that as more and more transactions are happening, more and more people are utilizing XLM. Who knows? Maybe XRP and XLM will get to the exact same price in the future at some point. You got to remember, there's a lot less XLM than there is XRP. But until then, we sit back and we watch the network of networks get built out, creating that new financial system that everybody's waiting on. But like I always tell you, we're still early in the crypto. We're just getting started. Wait until the institutional money pours in. Wait till the FOMO money pours in. Crypto will change, but it takes patience and it takes positivity to get there. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.